We've heard plenty in recent weeks about the chaos at Heathrow's passport control, which is something the Immigration Minister, Damien Green, will be answering questions about before the Home Affairs Select Committee today. But according to the trade body, the European Tour Operators Association, there's another problem with the way the UK handles visitors, the visa system. Tom Jenkins is the executive director there. What's wrong with the current system, Tom? Um, well, simply, it's far too cumbersome. Um, we ask them to fill in extremely lengthy forms. Uh, they have to attend personal interviews. They have to give fingerprints. They have to be fully biometrically screened. Um, we effectively treat them as criminals. Um, and this is proving a huge disincentive to come to the country. And we need people to come to the country, don't we? If we're going to get the exports going, if we're going to get the economic growth we need, how much does it cost to apply for one of these things? Oh, well, it costs um, £78. Pounds. You, can, you can apply for a Schengen visa, which gives you 26 countries, and it costs €60. Euros. And how long do you have to wait, usually? Up to three weeks after your personal interview before receiving clearance to come to the country. Is but that significantly worse than, for example, trying to get a visa to the United States? Um, it's in some ways comparable to the United States, but the United States is the last place we ought to be comparing ourselves to. Uh, the US have lost 10 years of tourism growth as a result of their aggressive border policy. I think uh, the thing that we need to wake up to is the fact that of all the visitors from China that came to Europe, 3% obtained a UK visa, 2% obtained a UK and Schengen visa, 95% obtained a Schengen visa alone. Well, we did go to the Home Office about this and got a statement from them. They said our visa application process is geared up to be as simple as possible while ensuring we keep our borders secure. What's your view on that? I don't think it is. <laughs> OK, a simple answer then. And, and obviously the complexities are, are, are bothering you. What complexity would you get rid of without getting rid of any of the protections for people we don't want to get visas? Well, I, think, I think they need to have a slightly more curved approach. I mean, you've, in, in the seven-page document that there is there, I mean, there are questions there which anybody who has any degree of uh, mobility is going to find onerous. I mean, they ask them to list every country that they visited in the last ten years. Um, and if they make one error filling this form out, they get the, their visa denied. Mm. This is, this is, these are onerous obligations. They've got to fill in a full description of all the money they've earned. OK, very this interesting. This is tough. Thank you very much. Tom Jenkins there from the European Tour Operators Association. That's it from Wake Up to Money for this morning.